A-10 may not be headed for the scrapyard just yet. A new report from a government oversight committee is casting doubt on the need for the Air Force to get rid of the fighter jet. It could grant the time local leaders need to keep Gowan Field operational. Jake Miller is live in studio with the story. The hundreds of airmen that work on Gowan Field have just one mission, the A-10 Warthog. When the Air Force budget cut out the Warthog, their futures were thrown into confusion. But a new report is giving both the airmen and the Warthog one last chance. The unique sound of the A-10 Warthog firing its primary machine gun is not yet silenced. The Air Force has recommended the fighter jet get the pink slip, arguing it saves more than $4 billion over five years. But the Government Accountability Office says there's more to consider. Their report reads, quote, Our analysis found that the Air Force's estimated savings are incomplete and may overstate or understate the actual figure, end quote. Ultimately, it's a decision outside the control of our local Air National Guard unit. We know its days are numbered. Uh, whether we have it for another year, another two year, another five year, those are decisions that are going to be made inside the Beltway. Our job here is to fly it and maintain it to the very best of our ability. And I can tell you that we have some of the best maintained aircraft in the A-10 fleet throughout the Air Force. Guard spokesman Colonel Marsano says some of the 21 Warthogs stationed at Gowan were on the front lines during the shock and awe campaign of Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003. That long-term service out of Gowan is something city and state leaders don't want to lose. The, the focus from, the, from the, the city's perspective is the mission at Gowan and making sure that, that their mission remains at Gowan. The Chamber of Commerce has launched a campaign, Gowan Strong, to highlight the area's strengths and help convince the Department of Defense bring in a new mission. On the short list, the newly minted F-35, a fifth-generation fighter jet capable of several types of missions. What we do hope for is that we've got a follow-on mission, some other type of flying mission here at Gowan Field, but we just don't know uh, what the future holds for us exactly. Both Boise Mayor Dave Beter and Governor Butch Otter have met with ranking members of the Air Force in support of Gowan Field. Lawmakers in Washington kept the funding for the A-10 for this fiscal year, but another fight is, is over its future is expected for next year. Live in studio, Jake Melder, 6 on your side.